Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about a free GRE textbook that you guys can all use in your preparation. You've probably heard of it before, it's called the ETS Big Book. Okay, so this is a book that was out like in the 90s and it contains questions like from the 80s and 90s, you know, the GRE, the way it was conducted back then. And the thing is, okay, is the book free? Yes and no. See, the thing is the book is no longer in print. Okay, so it was, you know, running in the 90s and even in the early like 2000s and stuff, but now it's no longer in print. So you can't really find it in stores. You can only find the used versions or, you know, versions that were like, you know, already in stock or something, okay? So what you guys can do is you can actually go and get this book for free from Google. All you have to do is just Google, you know, the free version of the book and you can find it no problem. Now for obvious reasons, I can't give you guys a link directly. So you won't find a link in the description. This one, you're gonna have to Google on your own, okay? So now this book is, it's great, but it's not perfect. There are a few things that you need to know when it comes to using this book and you know applying it in your preparation. And that's gonna be the majority of this video. So here are five things that you need to know before you use ETS Big Book in order to study for your GRE. The first thing that you need to know is, like I said, the book is outdated, right? So it contains questions that were run in the 80s and 90s, and the book itself was, you know, and run in the 90s and early 2000s, and then they stopped printing it. So the biggest takeaway from this is that the questions in the book are not reflective of the questions in the current GRE. So this book, because it's free, you guys can use it as a nice practice source, you know, just to practice some questions if you don't wanna pay for like another resource and stuff, but it, the questions are not reflective of the true GRE, they're just a decent practice. The second thing that you need to know is about the quantitative reasoning, okay? So you'll find that as you're doing quant questions from the book, the questions are, the topics are like exactly the same as in the current GRE. Maybe there's a few differences here and there, but the topics themselves are pretty much the same. Okay, so like ratios and geometry and probability, you know, all these kind of things that are tested in the current GRE as well. But the thing is the questions, uh, the quant questions in the GRE big book, it's not as tough as the questions that you will face in the actual GRE exam, okay? So you can use the big book as a place to where you can practice easy questions, but for tough quant questions, you're gonna have to go somewhere else, all right? So for easy questions, it's good practice, but for tough questions, you're gonna need to find another resource. Third thing that you need to know is about verbal, okay? So when it comes to reading comprehension for the GRE, the big book does have a lot of similarities in how, you know, how the big book asks reading comprehension questions versus how the GRE actually asks their own reading comprehension questions. So for RC, it is like, you know, decent practice, I would agree. Now, text completion, it's more or less the same, but it's a little different as well because currently the GRE, the text completion is a little bit more harder, like they make it a little bit more confusing, they try to trip you up and all that, and the big book doesn't really reflect the kind of text completion that you get currently, right? But you can still use it for practice. It's still good practice, just not reflective of the actual, you know, current uh, GRE text completions, all right? Besides that, for other stuff in the verbal, like for example, in the big book, you'll find questions where they ask for like, what are the direct meanings of words? And there's like also the questions that you will just not see in the current GRE. So if you guys have been using a GRE resource, you kind of have an idea about how these GRE uh, questions look like, right? So what you do is when you use the big book, make sure that you don't do the questions that you know are for sure not gonna come on the actual GRE, right? For example, the questions that ask you for meanings in the, for meanings in the big book, they're not gonna come in the actual GRE, right? And sentence equivalence questions, well, I don't think I saw any sentence equivalence questions in the ETS Big Book, so you won't find SE questions there as well. Fourth thing you should know is that this is not exactly an instructional book and it's not really like an educational book as such, okay? So it does have like a brief, like some 15 pages of introduction, but the rest of it is just practice, okay? Like it contains mainly just practice tests and it contains 27 practice tests, which is a lot. But the catch here is that they don't actually give you answer or explanations for each of the each of the questions. So if you get stuck, you're kind of screwed. You're gonna need to have like, um, you know, like a GRE group or something where you can pose these questions and you know get answers from. Right. So you can use this, you can use this book for practice, but again, for answer explanations and stuff, you won't find any in it, right? But it's free, so you shouldn't be complaining too much. And the last tip that I have for you guys is don't use this book as your only resource. So I know that some of you guys are trying to study from the study for the GRE just based off online resources, no textbooks, you know, just random websites and stuff. Do not use this book as your primary as your primary resource as you're studying for the GRE because it will mislead you into thinking, you know, quant questions are easy, or it will mislead you into thinking like you know the verbal questions asked in the book are reflective of the current GRE okay so make sure you have another textbook at least that you can use you know concurrently while you're preparing with this book 
right? Now, when it comes to the best textbooks and the best strategies and stuff that you guys wanna use in your GRE preparation, again, I've done a video on this. I'm gonna leave a link, to a link in the description that you guys can use to check out that video. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more GRE and college admissions tips. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.